Any doubt? I definitely think I'm going to be dominant in this fight. You know, if the knockout comes, I'll take it. You know, I never predict uh, knockouts, but I definitely think I'm going to dominate. You feel it? Like you Let me ask you, how are you going to deal with his power? Well, uh, we deal with power before. We fought in some uh, very hard punches, so we'll deal with it, believe me. Does he lack the power to really intimidate you or challenge you? I wouldn't say that. I mean, uh, all fighters are going to be wary of, of power if they have a high knockout ratio or not. Um, but with him, you know, I think it's going to be, he's coming up, he didn't have a high knockout ratio at junior really. You know, um, his thing is going to have to be is to try to keep us from landing our big shots, and he's going to have to worry about that. And uh, that's going to be a big thing for him to do, to accomplish shot level fight. For a guy who's as athletic as he is, can that, does that translate to the ring? You know, all those other athletic skills? No, I mean, there's only, you're only uh, limited to the two things you can do in that ring. You know, punch and move. Uh, we know he moves, but uh, you can cut the ring off. Uh, a lot of players cut the ring off against him. You know, you go back, I know it was 10 years ago, but even Mark Rito, you know. Um, like I said, the guy gets hit. You know, he's not invincible. Uh, you know, he's not the slickest fighter people think he is. He's awful. You know, when you get an awkward fighter, it makes him look like they're slick and everything. But he gets hit with fresh punches, you know, and uh, that's a big thing. Thank you very much. Why, why, why Sergio? Um, by beating him, you think you're going to make a statement, let's say? If you beat I him think so. I think to the people that, in the boxing world that know uh, Sergio Martinez, I think it is. I mean, right now at middleweight, that's the uh, fighter that's out there. Unfortunately, we could get to fight with Williams. Uh, a lot of people have seen that fight with Williams. He won the fight. So I think it's one of the best fights out there. What do we expect this Saturday? Are you, are you expecting a knockout? I expect a dominant performance you know, from me. Um, I never predict a knockout, but hey, if it comes, you know, we'll take it. Now he's, he's very, you know, he moves a lot, he's very hard to hit. What have you done differently in your training to, to prepare yourself for, for a first Not Really, I mean, we, it's the same thing that we always do. Uh, you know, we brought sparring partners and know that or faster than he is, I believe, and, and uh, move everybody as good as he does. So, you know, working on that, getting used to that southpaw style with the mover, um, helped us a lot. If you're victorious this Saturday, what, what, what's next for you? What's next for Kelly Fabric? You know, the big fights, man. Whatever they got. You know, Boone's still out there. Uh, you know, 168's not out of the question, so we'll see what happens. You had some tough situations with you having to pull out because you had a staff infection, and, you know, I think the fight with Sergio Moro also fell apart. Why, 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 why do you think the critics have been giving you such a hard time? No, I have no idea. I really don't. Uh, you know, everything was uh, proven with the, the infection. You know, it was something I could do about it. But you know, overall, I couldn't let it bother me. You know, I still was middleweight champ. I still have fights in the future. You know, um, as of this Saturday coming up. And uh, you know, but for as far as jumping off the bandwagon, I have no idea. You know, don't really. I don't lose no sleep over it. Any thoughts of coming back to find out Oh, yeah, I, I like the idea of coming back here. I mean, this is like the second home. Um, you know, we have so many great fights here. Uh, Japan's in Youngstown when they come here, they love it. So, no, I mean, if there's any other place to play other than home, it's definitely here. Do you think you're going to have the advantage of uh, does, does that affect the fighter at all, like going in, like the home crowd or anything? Yeah, you know, sometimes it does and sometimes it don't. Um, I think it could, though. I mean, when the times are hard in the ring and you got your fans that are cheering for you, kind of sometimes it's your second win. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Fight night is a lot of things get thrown out the window on fight night. Have you, have you had a problem making 160? And let's say, how long are you going to stay at middleweight? We're going to stay at middleweight until it comes to a point where we're really just totally killing ourselves to make weight. You know, right now we're not at that point, so we're not killing ourselves to make 160. But if it ever starts becoming a struggle where I'm feeling that I'm doing more harm to my body than good, then it'll be time to move up. Do you believe this will be the hardest fight in your career? No, nah, I don't know. So, Who has been the hardest fight? Well, right now, I would say Taylor and, and Hopkins. You know, um, Hopkins due to the fact of what happened, you know, the situation I was in in that fight, and uh, Taylor. So, I mean, taking it away from Martinez, a dangerous fighter. He is. He's uh, crafty, slick, but um, I just think on the basis of like a Jermaine Taylor who was fast, you know, naturally faster, just not with the movements, but uh, with his hand speed, I, you know, and being that natural middleweight, that's a big middleweight. You know, so those were some of those posted a tougher fight. Do you think Sergio Martinez will, will be a tougher uh, would be a tougher fight than uh, Paul Williams? I do think that. You know, Paul Williams is a volume puncher. You know, he's a guy who just comes and throws a lot of punches. Uh, you know what to expect from uh, Paul Williams. Martinez, you know, he can mix it up with different things. So I think it's going to be uh, a little tougher than it would be for Williams. Thank you.